Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Breakout. In the last episode we set up our super duper amazing sieves and in between episodes I set up this and I'm going to show it to you now. So what this contraption does for us is the igneous extruders which I've upgraded too many times <laughs> that is unnecessary but they make andesite and diorite and that gets put into these two drawers so we have 2000 andesite and diorite uh, all the time and then we crush it into crushed andesite and diorite and then we sift it to get from the crushed andesite I believe we get uh, in the diamond sieve we get a platinum or, or chance to get a platinum or piece diamond nuggets and lapis which is really nice and then for the diorite we get if you look at uses and a diamond wood, we get platinum and certus quartz. So that's a nice increase on the platinum and on the certus quartz and as well on the lapis. So we're getting a bunch of that. We also have a bunch of diamond nuggets. I had like a one and a half thousand that I turned into diamonds. So we have 231 diamonds now, which is really nice. We have a bunch of emeralds, a bunch of bone meal. And one thing that I had to add uh, over here, and I think we're going to move these drawers a little bit. We're going to move them up one floor, I think. Uh, I had to add a drawer for Certus, a drawer for Cinnabar, and a drawer for Iridium. So those are the things that are produced. The Iridium is a byproduct of, I think, processing Platinum, I believe, if we look at Platinum. Uh, and then the Pulverizer, we get a 10% chance of getting Iridium. So that got stuck in all the furnaces and had nowhere to go. So my furnaces stopped working and everything backed up. But it is working fine now, everything is clear, everything is going through. We are getting an excess of um, sand and gravel and that is all being cleared out out of the backlog here. So everything ends up in these drawers and then gets exported out, which is really nice. So uh, that is pretty much a working system. We can also toss this in a compacting drawer just to make it blend in a bit more. I think that sounds like a good idea. So we have another drawer, we do. And I wanna also make this the phytogenic insulator because that's a quest and we might use it later uh, but if we take this down we're gonna get 8,000 flint uh, and then we're gonna do that no stop putting sand no okay flint good we got it nice so let's just do that that's gonna empty everything out the sand we can then lock it and quantify it and uh did I apparently I added the upgrades as well okay so uh, for today, I finished off some quests here in the thermal expansion one. I made the energy cell. We still need to make the satchel, but I'm going to make this so we get some flux phyto grow, which is a thing that we can automate as well at some point. Uh, so let's just make the satchel just so we finish off the quests. Uh, and there we go. So that's kind of a backpack that we can upgrade as well. And we get holding three. Okay, sweet. So the satchel, can we do just this and this? We don't have invar nuggets. That's fine. There we go. And we can get a signalum satchel if we make electrum nuggets. See, kind of that's why I like keeping all the alloys in the drawers, but we are gonna need these nuggets once and never again. Uh, so the signalum one, and then we can also make the resonant one because we have some enderium left over. So this is this big. <laughs> And it's kind of small, but we have a white list and a black list for what it can collect. Uh, but if we enchant it with holding, and I believe the holding can go up to four, and I have one here with holding four, so we can do that. And now this is this big. <laughs> it just gets humongous, and it loses the functionality, which is kind of weird. But you know, it's a big bag. We can toss in our wrenches and our hammers and our probes and our tapes. And I think I have a wrench, this, this guy. The Yeto wrench, the reservoir can go in there, and all the other stuff that we're gonna need and we're gonna find in the things, but that's really cool. Okay, so, whoops. Uh, as far as the floors go, I changed everything to painted cobblestone, so we have a bunch of nether brick now in the system. Uh, we have like 300 or something if we need to use it for anything. Apparently this didn't place. There we go. So the bottom floor as well is all changed to painted cobblestone and uh, a bunch of it is, uh, or at least some of it is also some glowstone just so we don't have to have any torches anywhere. And these crucibles are now pumping out lava like crazy because we're using apparently more power. Uh, but I don't think we are gonna need to run this Enderman spawner and this zombie spawner that often. I think even for the moment we can just turn it off and we're gonna get some redstone control at some point in here. 
Another thing that I've added is really it's everything is just so compact. I have this aqueous accumulator here with an ender tank and then there's just water all around it. You can see like that all around the un under the ender chest. And that is just producing us water, which is really nice. It's going in that tank. Uh, the water we needed uh, over here by these igneous extruders because they don't use lava, but they use water. So in the back here, we have an ender tank extracting water. And the way this channeling works on the back here, uh, we have on the green, we're extracting into here and then extracting into here and then orange into here drawer. And then we extract on the blue, which is the kind of insert channel that I have up top. So if it can go, it is going to go to the drawer controller. And if not, it goes into here uh, to get uh, processed. So we put the platinum pieces here, the diamond nuggets go here, the lapis goes here. And that's pretty much it. Okay. Uh, but I want to finish off the quests. More than more than anything, so we're gonna I think tackle the Emmy crafting just so we get that automation kit. So we need and we need one of these 4K crafting storages. So we need one of you, uh, and that should turn into this. I clicked on the wrong thing, but that's fine. And then we need an interface and an assembler. So and that should be Emmy interface, and then an assembler is this. There we go. Nice, and we can claim an Emmy pattern terminal and some blank patterns. Lovely. Nice. So over here, we get an automation kit, which is 12 Emmy interfaces, two molecular assemblers, two crafting coprocessors, light blue and lime cable, and four expert buses and four import buses. That's just amazing. Thank you, game, for giving us all of that lovely things. So a very simple solution for obsidian without ever making lava is just water and this lava infused stone, which doesn't show in JEI, but or in Wela, sorry, but that makes obsidian. We just toss in water and what we can do is let's say grab this endervoir and we're going to need to grab some water. So I'm going to just go here and we can then put in two buckets and we can then say this extract always active and that should put in water and it should make obsidian. I have set up a very loud obsidian setup and it's super easy to do. You just need the ender tank to be on the blue down, which is kind of like the open slot. And then the fluid placer automatically collects water when this is next to it. And then it just automatically places, this automatically breaks. And then I just have a conduit in the back extracting everything into the drawer, which is just like this. It's very cramped, but you can see it there. And on the bottom here, I am gonna in the future, see if I can set up a, um, a sand placer and atomic reconstructor to turn it into soul sand and then have soul sand in here. Uh, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much obsidian. I need to figure out if I want to have an ender chest here and have everything just go into a full set up drawer system or if I want to have uh, a storage bus on here, uh, kind of like I have over here. And I think the next order of business is to move the drawers because these drawers are kind of in the way where I want to have some more machines. I've moved all the drawers up one floor and we have everything nice and neatly set up. I even have the ender chest over there on its own conduit extracting into the drawer controller, which is everything that we're getting from the mob farm, I think. And we can set up bonsai pots as well if we wanted to uh, for... Uh, for wood and for sticks and for saplings and for leaves and stuff. Uh, and one thing that I've also changed is if we just fill this block in, uh, we have a little bit of a different configuration for our ME system. It is now in the middle floor, kind of, because we have two floors down here and then we have one, two floors up top. So that's the middle floor. So over here, we have power now. <laughs> Uh, downstairs because having it up top and running the cable down was kind of weird and I'd rather have this space for something else and over here we have just an easy access for uh, for power because it's just the dynamos and cabling on top hidden in all of the uh, in all of the floor basically so the capacitor bank is now right over there in the middle uh, and then the cabling goes up top into the middle and then it comes over here and then we have the ME controller as well in the middle. It's all gonna be very compact and very difficult for me to show you. But the ME controller now has four cables going on the middle floor to the edges and we can just bring the cables down or up as we need to. 
because we have a little bit of space back here and we can bring it over and up to the top. So that means that each side of the base has 32 channels, which I think is plenty for what we need to do in here. Uh, so we have a little bit of dark steel here uh, and that I think I have in the drawers. So if we look at generator, okay. So that should be it for what we need, nice. So I think that is over here, combustion generator. We get two fluid tanks, another octatic capacitor, lovely. And then for the for this guy here, mixology, we need the vat and then we need to make hooch. So vat is gonna be this. Okay, what am I missing? A cauldron, not a problem. Okay, vat, nice. And then we need to make hooch. So you need power. Where is it that we have power here? Wonderful. Uh, we're in Tosio and Octatic Capacitor. And then let's look at the recipe for hooch. Hooch. This is water and melon or potato or sugar. So let's grab some sugar cane. Just gonna grab a stack. And I think it was potato. We have a bunch of those. Uh, and then water. There we go. We can just open it up. Are you gonna make hooch? Yes. It's cooking up. Okay. Need a bucket. Hooch. Nice. And we claim to enter tank something. Mass. Tank. Pull. There you go. It's gonna cook up us cook us up some hooch. I don't know if we need it for anything, but that's okay. But enter IO is complete. And let's tackle this actually additions quest line just to get it out. So I need a crusher. Let me a crusher. And then we also need a furnace. That should be a powered furnace. Nice. We get two small storage crates and then we need a farmer. There we go. Farming. We get nine worms, lovely. So here is lighting options, white lamp, red lamp, yellow lamp. White lamp. White, red, yellow. Yellow. Done. We get a lamp controller. Cool. And then magnetizing ring and energizer. Magnetization ring. And then we should have everything else. There we go. And then energizer. Yeah, like that. Nice. Do I need to turn this into the bobble string? There we go. We get a single battery, cool. And then the last one is canola stuff. So canola press, oil generator, fermenting barrel. Donia, so we're gonna make some of that a little, in a little bit. Generator. Cool. And then a barrel. Nice. And we get a fermenting barrel and 64 canola. And then here is crystallized canola, which we can't get to. And there's also an automation kit. I mean, crystallized canola is just, I think. Okay, let's just do this. Hold on. We need the canola press. You don't require power, right? Oh yeah, I think you do. So we put this here, toss in the canola. That's gonna make canola oil. Then we can put it in the fermenting barrel to turn that canola oil into refined canola oil. And then we need to take canola seeds, toss them in here. Uh, and then we're gonna grab a bucket. We now have a full bucket. I am just gonna drop it on the floor. It's gonna flow everywhere, but that's fine. Turn into crystallized canola and that should be complete. Enter tank. And the automation kit is a dropper, a placer, a collector and a ranged collector. Oh, that's nice actually. It just collects you everything. Nice, let's claim that. Everything is going to go into the storage system. I don't think we're going to be using canola power this time around. We got a few ender tanks, which is really nice, but this can pretty much just get um, broken and that should be fine. Yeah. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. You can also subscribe to see new videos. You can support me on Patreon as well if you want. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.